11 months ago, I started scripting my short form videos for my personal brand using word for word. And it began really slow because I didn't know how to structure a valuable script. But one day I was scrolling through my reels and I saw this viral video of this one guy talking about how to script a viral video, pretty much. <laughs> he was teaching how to use specific words at the start of each sentence for your content. And that's pretty much when I implemented the story starter method. It's where you use eight key words at the start of every sentence of your script. And, but, so, now, then, because, therefore, and however. We do this because we want to structure our content like a story. For example, when I write my script, I can say, so this happened, then that happened, but that also happened. And it's a very subtle way to create flow throughout your story. It's also great for engaging your viewers and keeping them hooked onto your video. However, it does take time to get used to. A month later after this, I decided to start my YouTube channel. So at this point, I was creating long form videos and short form videos and scripting all of them using word for word scripts. And you can tell that it's pretty hard to keep up with scripting long form and short form at the same time every single week. So eventually I decided to stop using word for word scripts and start scripting my long form videos using dot points and that was the beginning of my dot point scripting phase which changed my content game forever i'm not even kidding using dot points helps me become more authentic on camera especially in long form videos it also helped me improve my improvising skills and scripts way faster than word for word scripts because with my word for word scripts, I usually take my time choosing the exact specific words that I wanna use and structuring my sentences with the way I wanna structure it and with the story starters as well. But with dot points, I can write shorter and more concisely while having room for that authenticity. Now around five months in my personal brand journey, I started studying different variety of creators. Dan Ko, Hamza, Alex Hormozzi, and a lot more. I used to write so many notes of each video that I watched with them, and all of these little details of how they structure their scripts, how they speak on camera, what shots do they use, what b-roll do they use, but I had so many notes to the point where I could barely use any of them to take action for my own content. So what I did is, in all of my scripts, I wrote a little checklist at the top. For example, my checkboxes used to say script with flow or write to your younger self or don't talk about family or friends. These are just little tick boxes that I needed to do for each and every video. Now my checkboxes say 80% story, 20% lesson and dream slash pain call to action. Of course, I didn't want to copy and paste the same checklist for each and every one of my scripts on Notion. So what I did was use their template feature. All you got to do is click on this new template button in a blank page and customize it to whatever you want. I also have plenty of other features that I built using Notion, which I go through inside my systemization course. You can find that in the first or second link below in the description. Now that brings me to my latest strategy, which is 80% story and 20% lesson. If you didn't notice already, this entire video was pretty much based off my past experiences. I spent most of my time in this video telling key stories of how I came to be able to script daily long forms and daily short forms at the same time. The thing is people can copy my methods. You can make the same video as me, but you cannot replicate my story which for me at least i think that makes me stand out as a creator and if you've made it this far into this video then that means i did my job with my storytelling hopefully <laughs> but the actual value of your content and i call it lesson has to be mentioned as well so how i split 80 percent and 20 percent is have eight dot points for storytelling points only and two dot points for lessons only and i don't specifically follow this 80 percent 20 percent split every single time i just like to have more of a story and less of a lesson and this template is also a great reminder for me to set the balance between story and lesson if you want to see me walk through my entire scripting process from a to z the first link below will take you to my creatopia community inside there's a course where you can watch me demonstrate and write perfect long form and short form videos using these methods. The second link below will take you to my website where all of my content courses are also available inside. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you tomorrow.